name's Fernando, and I'm here to talk to you about Mocha. We're going to find out what Mocha is, what it can do for you, what kind of products have Mocha in them, and how you can be successful in the installation of Mocha. What is Mocha? Well, Mocha stands for the Multimedia Over Coax Alliance, and it was designed and developed to allow content sharing between home outlets. What can this do for you? It'll enable you to provide services in the home from room to room, which has never been done before. Within the home, there is typically coaxial cable connecting all the home outlets. This coaxial cable can be used to connect all the devices in these rooms and form a home network. This can be done with the existing coax without any changes and allows you to share content alongside cable television, the ability of Mocha to provide outlet to outlet connectivity permits a whole variety of new applications to be provided to the consumer in the home. Since Mocha looks like a wired Ethernet connection between outlets, there are many applications which can use this to provide a whole home experience. Multi-room applications such as, such as multi-room DVR, whole home gaming, and personal content sharing are just few of the applications that Mocha allows. There are a variety of products that have been certified to operate under the Mocha network. These devices include set-top boxes, bridges, routers, and DVRs. One of the key new products that is available to operate in the Mocha network is called an Ethernet to Coax Bridge, or ECB for short. This allows existing equipment to bridge content across the Mocha network using existing coax cable. If a customer has a high-speed internet connection in the home and the rooms are wired for coax, a very simple device like an ECB can be used to extend that data service to different outlets in the home. So the magic to the Mocha network is that it does allow communication from outlet to outlet in the home. And this is done through a concept called splitter jumping. Within the home, the home coaxial wiring contains not only coaxial cable, but direct devices called splitters and directional couplers. These devices will split the signal, the downstream CATV signal, to the various rooms in the home. And these have been used for many years. These devices also are meant to isolate the rooms. Mocha is able to overcome these physical characteristics of these devices and operate from room to room in the house. It doesn't really matter what type of coax cable there is, and there are two types that are predominantly used in, in home wiring and that is RG6 or RG59. Uh, they each have different attenuation characteristics and it doesn't really matter to Mocha. In addition, it doesn't matter what the splitter type is. It could be a two-way splitter, a four-way splitter. Mocha doesn't, doesn't really care. Mocha works very efficiently from room to room in the house, uh, regardless of how many splitters, what the distance of the, of the coax is, up to certain limitations, and we'll discuss those as well. The, the limitations um, of the home wiring are really in the coaxial cable distance and in the types of devices that are in the path between the home outlets. One of the critical, uh, one of the critical limitations of Mocha is that it operates with 300 feet max of coaxial cable from the point of entry of the home to the home outlet. In addition, there shouldn't be any active devices in the path between the home outlets. These active devices can actually prevent the high frequency Mocha signal from reaching its destination in the other home outlet. Now once the Mocha network is formed and you do have Mocha devices installed at the home outlets, Mocha will support up to 16 of these devices. These 16 Mocha enabled devices will form a network and this type of network is called a full mesh peer-to-peer -peer network and that is every device is interconnected with every other device in a full mesh configuration. So from one single device you will be connected to 15 other devices in a 16 device home. And that is true for every other device. Now what's very important in Mocha is that it allows a very high data rate to exist within the home network on the order uh, and equivalent to Ethernet data rates. Mocha 1.0 will support up to 135 megabits of application data rate. And that is data rate that is available to use for your application. Mocha 1.1, which is a new standard that was ratified about a year ago, 
allows the data read to be extended to 175 megabits per second. Just to give you an example of how that data rate is consumed, assume you have a single server that is, has multiple high definition streams on it. Those high definition streams, if they are MPEG-2, each consume 20 megabits per second of data. If that server is, is serving up three streams, it will be consuming 60 megabits per second on the network. If you're using Mocha 1.0, that gives you over 100 megabits per second left over for additional applications. Mocha 1.1 provides even more data rate with its 175 megabits per second of maximum capacity. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Mocha.